welcome guys in the new video and in this session we are going to discuss about standard form the other name of standard form is form A is scientific notation and the second topic will be discuss decimal places what is standard form first of all the standard form means very large number or very small number can write easily so that's why we say we use standard form to write very large number and very small number easily that method is called the standard form or scientific notation Standard form always between 1 and 10 and multiple multiply by the power of appropriate by 10. So let's suppose there is any number which is I say A. It must be between 1 and 10. Between 1 and 10. So, A must be multiple of 10 to the power N. So, any number. So, that is called the standard form. For example, uh, 3.45 times 10 to the power 2. So, this is standard form as the first number between 1 and 10. Between 1 and 10. So, that's why it's a standard form. But if I take another example, let's go 332.45, 10 to the power, for example, 3. Is this a standard form? No. Because the first number before the decimal, that number is not between 1 and 10. It covers the second part of the statement, A times 10 to the power n so it is multiple of 10 to the power n which is 3 but the first number which is a not between 1 and 10 so that's why this is not a example of standard form but this is a standard form okay so this is called the standard so please remember i'm uh, repeating the statement before the decimal there should be a number which is between 1 and 10 and that must be multiple of 10 to the power n and mean any number so that number is called a standard form but if you have in this as in the second example the number which is uh, even if uh, is completed that for example if i say that uh, uh, here uh, 32.45 times 10 to the power n it complete the second statement but he does not complete it doesn't complete the first statement so that's why it's not a standard form now how can you write uh, the numbers into the standard form for example we are given some ordinary numbers like 265 so how can you write in standard form so if there is no decimal we consider the decimal at the end of the uh, point so we consider decimal at the end of the question end of the number or end of the digit so we move the decimal to make uh, the standard form to left side from right to left so it becomes decimal somewhere here which is 2.65 now how many uh, decimal how many points i move left side two decimals so 10 to the power 2 when we move right side take the decimal right side we take the power positive power would be positive okay another example like example number four if i was given the number like point zero zero two three for example i need to write into the standard form so this is the decimal i move from here one two and three so i move three places from left to right from left to right so it becomes 2.3 times 10 to the power negative how many places 1 2 and 3 so negative 3 so it means that if we move decimal from uh, left 
to write power will be negative or will be negative but if we move from right to left the power of the index will be positive okay this is how we can write uh, the standard form and uh, how can we recognize the standard form so in recap I just uh, giving you uh, gain the brief the first uh, in the example before the decimal if there is a number which is between 1 and 10 and it uh, complete the second statement a must be the number must be, be uh, multiple of 10 to the power any number so that number is called the standard form but if not fulfill all these two conditions so it means that is not a standard form now uh, we need to write uh, uh, about the decimal places we so it's uh, again very simple we done many times in the lower classes as well so like for example i'm doing now the decimal places if you are given any question and he said that write your answer in one decimal place, two decimal place, three decimal place, any decimal places. We have to follow that rule. Before we go for that, remember the point. Uh, we also keep the point in our mind when we apply the decimal places rule. So we go for as well a rounding rule. So, for example, I'm given the example. Uh, in the example, he said that 0.07025 write in uh, for example he said write in two decimal places so if you look at here how many decimal places of this number one decimal two decimal three four and five this is five decimal places but uh, as he said write the answer in two decimal places dp means decimal places so your answer will be uh, this is the first decimal place this is the second decimal place now where whatever the requirement from that particular point i have to check the next number I have to check the next number. If the next number is 5 or more, 5 or more, okay, so increase. If less than 5, that number, so decrease. Now, uh, we are given here uh, second decimal place after that is 0, which is less than 5, so we decrease the number, so answer is 0 0.07 which is two decimal place so this is your two decimal place answer okay take another example another example uh, if we are given the number 3.21517 uh, and he said there write the answer in three decimal place three decimal place okay if you observe again this is the first decimal second third and four it means this is the four decimal places number so i need to write in how many decimal place three decimal place so the required is three decimal place this is the third value from here I have to check the next number the next number I have to stop here on the third place from here I have to check the next number five or more as you know increase the number so what increase one increase of that so it becomes 3.21 so five if increase it becomes six so this is the answer which is three decimal place hope you understand uh, about the standard form and decimal places it's very simple and easy lesson uh, we because we done in many times in the lower uh, grades and lower classes uh, this is our basic things hope you understand all these things thank you very much